this is another Quebeco Pen Thoughts video. We will be talking about four different Quebeco sports. Now, each one of these is made in a different material, which is why I think this is kind of fun to have all the different materials here at once, and they feel so good to hold, and I love the sounds that they make when they hit each other. First of all, we have the lightest and the cheapest, or least expensive, is the Quebeco Sport in plastic. Now, this one is the one that comes in the most colors. And even though it's not my personal favorite because I don't like how light it is, I do prefer the metal pens for their weight. I am always tempted to collect them because the colors are so much fun. Inside Kimmy's Mind here on YouTube has a really lovely collection of Caveco sports and has this like color palette that just they all look so beautiful together and I'm always so like ah, I want to do that too but ultimately I rarely ever use this because I just don't like the weight of it. Next we have the Caveco aluminum. This one I was most surprised about liking. I didn't think I would care for the aluminum because I figured it would be lighter than the brass pen that I'm so fond of, uh, but it actually is a little bit heavier than the than the uh, plastic, and it's such a nice texture. It is so smooth. In fact, all of these bevels are smoother than the rest of the pens that I have in this video today. It just feels really nice to hold. Now, the aluminum is kind of fun because it does come in more colors and so if you're looking for a little bit heftier of a pen but still with the whole variety of, of color options then the aluminum sport seems like it would be a good way to go. It is a little bit more expensive than the plastic and I do fear it will not be as durable as the other materials. Actually I've already <laughs> I've already dropped this pen and have nicked it. This is the rose gold, by the way. Then we have the Caveco Steel Sport. This one I was also very surprised by because the texture is not what I expected. It has a grittier texture than the brass, and certainly more than the aluminum. It's not super polished and smooth like I anticipated. Although, so at first, when I first pulled it out of the box, it was a little off-putting. It felt like my hands were getting dirty or there was like a residue coming off. It felt like grabbing graphite or charcoal or something textured and dry. But I feel like it's actually smoothing out a little with just regular use and carrying around. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just getting used to it. I think it just felt so different than the brass initially that I was just like, ooh, what is this thing? And then last but not least, one of my all-time favorite fountain pens. This is the Caveco Brass Sport. And I have talked, I think, at length about this particular sport. I love the brass so much. And it has a really nice um, aging where it just patinas and you can see where the clip usually is, where it's a little bit brighter. And it has all these scuffs and scratches, which I don't mind on the brass. I don't think I would mind at all on the steel either, but I do think I would mind a little bit on this one just because it looks so polished and smooth. So all those nicks would probably bother me. And then the same with the plastic. The plastic gets really beat up pretty easily. So the steel and the brass do not come in any other colors. This is what you get. What you see is what you get. When I first ordered the steel, I had this, I just thought it would be so cool to have these two rolling around in my backpack together because they're both really, really durable pens and I wouldn't worry about them. I'd just toss them in and go. Okay, I wanted to give a little update before we move on. I've had a couple of days now to play with all of these little sports and the steel is growing on me. It actually has smoothed out a lot. The texture feels really different than when it first arrived. Even my partner noticed that it felt a lot smoother. So I think that's great. I don't know what it was about the pen when it first arrived. If, you know, there was still like sanding dust from 
when it was created. I have no idea, but it has definitely smoothed out and I think it's going to be a great toss in the bag and go. I think I'm still partial to the warmth of the brass in terms of colors. This is very cool and cold, not physically, but just visually. Uh, so really it might just come down to a matter of personal preference, but this is just as awesome really as this one. I think I'm most smitten with this little aluminum though. It's just, it's really pretty. It's super, super pretty. It's just sleek and the color is nice and it's really soft. I just, yeah, I, there's something kind of special about it. It's a sexy pen. In general, I love this size pen. It's just, I don't know, it's easy to carry because it's short and small enough, but it's squat enough to not feel like you're holding a little pen. It can be used, at least in my hand, unposted or posted without throwing off the balance or making it feel too small or too bulky or too long. It's just a really, really nice size pen. I do wish that the converters were different because they're so small, I never use them. So I end up using cartridges. You can eyedropper the plastic ones, but not the metal ones, unfortunately. So Quebeco, it'd be super cool if you made a piston again. A piston sport would be awesome. Also a copper sport would be awesome. Okay, moving on, we're going to talk about the weight and do little close-ups. Plastic, aluminum, steel, brass. This is what the brass looks like when it's brand new out of the package. So obviously a lot golder and shinier in color. This is the box that you get when you order the aluminum, the steel, or the brass. I believe all the plastic Caveco Sports come in just uh, like a cardboard sheath that is about the size of the pen. But with the other three, they actually have these sweet little tins. You get a sticker, a little information booklet. It comes wrapped up in a package and has a cartridge. Now this, and the cartridges that they provide are the Caveco Blue. Um, this is actually the brass sport that is going to be in a future giveaway. So I will talk more about that in another video. Caveco also offers a couple different clip options as well. So we have two different styles. These are both the chrome color one is the traditional or the classic, and then this one is a much more streamlined, modern looking clip. In the classic or the traditional line, I forget what these are called, we have three different colors. This is the bronze, we have the chrome, and the gold. This bronze is my personal uh, clip that I've had for a long time now, and so it's a little bit patinaed and dull. It's really beautiful. And this one usually lives right on my Quebeco brass. Now this particular sport is from, I think it's called their classic line. And basically the difference between that and the other plastic sports is that it has a gold finial and gold inscription here, and then a gold plated nib. So for this one, I like to put on the gold clip. And then we have the aluminum sport. And I'm gonna put this more modern, modern clip on it. Now the one thing about the clips, they do fit pretty good, but be warned, they can slip off. That's actually, I think because this is grippier, that's a nicer fit. That feels like it's on their way better than any of the other ones. So you do have to be cognizant of that. Well, actually that's pretty good on there. Yeah, that one slides off pretty easily. You do have to be cognizant of that. So if you like clip it to just a loop on your pant, you could lose your pen entirely if you're not carefully careful.
I am curious about how much all of these weigh. So I pulled out my coffee scale, which is currently set to grams. So to start off, let's weigh the plastic. Okay, 13.5. I'm going to make a note of that. Next is the aluminum, 22.8. All right, any guesses? Is the steel or the brass sport going to be heavier? Oh, and taking into account that these are the, the weights with the clips on. I don't know, it's really hard for me to tell which one I think is going to be heavier. All right, steel pen is... 45.3 grams. So that is a huge leap from the aluminum and plastic. Oh no, I forgot what it was. 45.4. Oh, one thing I do want you to be cautious of is because this material is so grippy, I wouldn't super tightly, deeply post your cap on the pen because it will get stuck. And actually I posted it too deep and it was really, really hard to get the cap off. So I suggest just kind of a light posting. Ooh, brass is heavier, 48.1. All right, so I think that is the end of this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And also, once again, thank you, Quebeco, for this opportunity. The next video in this series, I think, is going to be the different nib sizes, as well as comparing the standard nibs and the premium nibs. I also, at the very end of this video, you'll see I was experimenting with the caps and bodies and grip sections, which are all changeable on this. Except for the aluminum, you can't change the grip section of the aluminum to these two pens for some reason, but you can switch the caps, but it was kind of fun. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.